If you're looking for one of the best ways to capture a PowerPoint presentation while looking professional and engaging, then stick around in this video because I'm going to be showing you how you can actually level up your PowerPoint presentations and capture them as well as live stream them if you chose to do so. Let's get into it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Corey with Think Media, and this video is sponsored by StreamYard. And in this video, I'll actually be using StreamYard to demonstrate this tutorial. Now, there are a million ways that you could skin this cat. However, I think this is one of the best ways because StreamYard is a web-based software that allows you to do so much than just present a PowerPoint presentation, but also do live stream. But more than anything, it just gives you the dynamic to be able to change to and from your slides and yourself, and it really makes it more intuitive and engaging. So with that being said, let's jump right into StreamYard and go through this walkthrough. All right, so we are in the StreamYard portal, and we're gonna select our camera and mic. And we're gonna go into settings, select the camera, uh, and in my case, I'm using a capture card. Woo, that looks so much better. By the way, if you want a tutorial on how you can actually make yourself look like this, be sure to check out the links in the description. And then we're gonna be sure to hook up our Deity mic. Uh, and this is a great mic. You've been listening to this entire uh, video, but we have the option to hit echo cancellation as well as automatically adjust the mic volume. Uh, you can decide this for yourself. I personally like to leave this off because I'm using a good mic, but if you're using like AirPods or something, I would encourage you to leave this automatically clicked. So we're gonna hop into StreamYard. So here we are inside of StreamYard. You don't really see me right now, but that's because I'm right here and you can just hit add to stream and there you go. If you wanna change the name, you can go ahead and change the name uh, by clicking these three dots and then changing the name. Uh, but this is my handle, Hand follow me on IG, follow Think Media on IG. Um, now I want to show you the two different ways you can add your PowerPoint slides to StreamYard, starting with the first way being to share your screen or uh, share a secondary monitor. So we're going to hit this plus share button at the bottom, hit share screen. So this is in, you know, assuming you have a second monitor that you can share and I have my PowerPoint pulled up here. You can also share a window. So if you don't have a secondary monitor, but you have one big monitor, then sharing a window is totally fine. But I'm gonna share this secondary monitor because this is how we like to do it here at Think Media. And I'm just gonna add it to the stream. And so as you can see, uh, my secondary monitor is now being shared onto StreamYard. And might I say that this is actually a slide from one of the uh, live streams we did recently, but we're gonna have a live event here in Las Vegas. This is actually our banner for our live event that we're doing this year called Grow With Video Live. That is GWVL 2022. And we actually have heavy hitters coming. That, this is real talk, guys. We got Gary V, we got Patrick Bed David, we got Jasmine Starr, and so much more, especially the Think Media team. And we're actually teaching you how to build a personal brand with video at this conference and uh, it's gonna be li live in Las Vegas if you wanna come hang out or you can actually do it uh, virtually. We'll actually have a virtual option but you can go to growwithvideolive.com if you wanna check it out or I'll post a link down in the comments below. And that's Grow With Video Live. That's what this slide is for. We did a live stream kind of promoting it and stuff. But I just want you to see how, you know, how, how nice and clean it is when you can share uh, a PowerPoint here. And the cool thing about it is you're not stuck with this view. This is my, one of my favorite things about StreamYard is as you can see here are the various different transitions that you can go from. As you can see, I can go little on the screen. I can do a little picture in picture uh, if, you, if you wanna do it this way and go through your slides. Um, and this was like a, a live stream that we did a little bit ago. But nonetheless, this is just a nice way to capture a presentation, right? You know, you could take a moment here and be like, trend two, rise of short form video. And I'm so excited to talk about this. You know, that was just a practice. Um, but nonetheless, just being able to do that is really cool. And you can also set hotkeys. So you can make your keyboard uh, the ability to change your, you know, numeric pad or something. So it can do this by a push of a button rather than you clicking it. Uh, but up to you, you can do that. And and then you can just record your PowerPoint once you're ready to go. You can just hit record here. It'll start recording. Um, and then you can conduct your PowerPoint and then you're left with a video that you can now download. Uh, you can also live stream on StreamYard as well. And that is the first way that you can add it. You can share it by sharing a secondary monitor or sharing a window. Now the second way you can actually do this uh, is by actually uploading your slides itself to StreamYard. And I've already uploaded this slide deck. So if I click this, you can see how the slide deck is uploaded uh, to StreamYard. And uh, I can just go through it from here 
And you can see I mean, it kind of like messed with my slides a little bit because it formatted them. Um, but this is one way that you can do it. It's kind of easy, but I would say the maybe the way w the reason why we don't like it this way too much is if we had any animations uh, in inside of our you know PowerPoint presentation, they won't be kept. Whereas if you used the secondary monitor like this and you had fade ins or you had you know points coming in at one at a time or something, then this would be the best way because it's they're getting like the live experience of the PowerPoint. But those would be the two ways that you can actually uh, add a PowerPoint to StreamYard. Now, if you want to try StreamYard for free, uh, be sure to check out the link down in the description below. Uh, you could try it, test it. You can even do a test record as well. And uh, this is really just one of many ways that you can capture and present a PowerPoint presentation. But let me show you what you're met with if you do record it. So let's actually um, uh, record a hot second real quick, full definition, 1080p. Uh, so I am recording this. I'm so excited for Grow With Video Live this year. We have Gary V, Patrick Bet David, Jasmine Starr, and so much more, and I'm excited. And then I'm just gonna end the broad broadcast. And then once it's ended, you can give them a thumbs up because StreamYard's cool. And then I'm gonna go back into uh, my home station. If we go to videos, you will see that my little video that I made is now recorded, and I can now download it uh, to my computer. Um, I can share it, share the link, and people can also watch it. And I know you're gonna be crushing your PowerPoint presentations now, but let me know if you got value by hitting that like button. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you wanna check out another video from Think Media, click or tap the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.